Going back to the beginning of this year, when no team existed, you had to pull together a team, get them behind your brand, your vision, get them to play the city way, the right way. Here we are. How? How did we get here? Yeah, I think it was a lot of work, uh, a lot of background work as well to find the right players. We always said we don't just want to put any team on the field. It was important to get the right characteristics, mm -hmm. get the guys who understand the way, but also not just understanding it, really buying into the system and say that's exactly how I want to play football. And yeah, 48 points, you know, I think that's pretty good so far. Is there a moment that has happened so far that really stands out to you? Yeah, there must be a moment, and I think you all remember that first game uh, in Herman Stadium, you know, which also crowd wreck had uh, over 6,000 people coming, and uh, Van Kusain scoring that first goal very early in the game. The atmosphere, the, the way uh, the stadium was celebrating us, uh, you know, in, in a completely new league. I think that was definitely for me a standout moment where I still get some goosebumps now. And um, I hope that uh, we can top that one now with the coming games, uh, especially also in the playoffs. Uh, but that will be, definitely will be that first moment we all will remember. Did your expectations compare to what eventually transpired this season? To be honest, it's a brand new league. We didn't have any expectations. You didn't know how good we are. You didn't know how good the other teams are. But we said as a, as a basic, we want to win as many games as we lose. Uh, we definitely overachieved on that one to make the playoffs, I think, uh, was always in the back of our head. Uh, but that was not a must. So I think uh, we did overachieve a lot. Um, uh, but, you know, it's the United States of America. In the end of the day, if you finish first or second in the regular season, it's nice to have. Mm -hmm. But uh, playoffs coming up. And if you do make the playoffs, which we did, then of course you're aiming for the best possible outcome and that's what we are trying to work hard for in the next weeks. Now City 2 does not lack chemistry. I've noticed that since day one. You can convince me that they've been playing together for five years. Did team cohesion come into play when building this team? Yeah, you know, I think uh, we always said uh, everything we do is based on values, is based on, on team values, on on. Yeah, I mentioned the word again, characteristics. Uh, that's what the ownership also stands for. That's what we want to present uh, as a team on the field, but also off the field. And I think that was very important that some of the guys tried out, some of the guys we knew from before. Mm -hmm. We put lots of youngsters up from the academy, which already had uh, six months of uh, our ways in their system. And uh, to, to get together as a team, to bond, to actually have the same interests and really work hard for that to achieve all together. I think that was the key for it. We stayed away from having the, the big stars or the bigger names. We wanted to be a, a, a nice unit. And that's exactly what we're trying to do also for the next season in the MLS. How has this first season and what's still to come on Sunday in the playoffs set the tone for this entire club, all the way down from the academy up to the first team? That's what we are uh, at St. Louis City SC. You know, we playing a unique, uh, very distinguished kind of football. We want to press high, we want to play intense, we want to fight, we want to be really, really hard working out there, uh, down to earth, be modest, be humble, but still making it as difficult as possible for any team who comes here or even if you're playing away. I think you saw that in the first year of the academy season where we were unexpectedly successful. I think we just carried it on now with the MLS Next Pro where we did so far better than maybe we all thought and we want to carry that momentum over also into the first team next year. I think what you see is what you get, an honest way of football, hardworking way of football, where everybody's 100% committed, where everybody wants to give the best for the city, for the ownership, uh, for the club, and yeah, be ready for Sunday.